taking time to exert physical effort, physical strength and presence helps the fascia move. The fascia being the layer of skin under the very first aspect of the skin. It's what moves the energetic body around you, moving electric magnetic currents through your body. And it's very important to keep athletically moved. So through the practices of yoga, through the practices of qigong, through the practices of just playing sports, running, being active, cardio exercises, you can move this fascia. And this fascia allows for the energy within your palms to move, allowing for blood and the presence to be in your body, you know, allowing for greater clarity of what your capacities are. There's many types of things that we can practice within our health. So the breathing pattern is one of the greatest aspects we can practice in our health conscious mindsets, that and eating correctly. Because when you breathe in, you combine breath with the physical earth, the air, the heavens with the physical earth, the food, and making sure you're eating pure, loving, compassionate food, food that has good intentions on it, food that you know is going to help you, not just hinder you. So eating correctly, eating consciously, and taking time to breathe consciously. So mixing that ether, that air with the food, digesting it, and in the heart, the beat pumps that blood through your being, pumping the consciousness through your being, pumping that aura, that energy, that life force presence through you. And then connecting beyond just the life force, connecting to the dimensions of consciousness, the lower, higher minds, and the greater awareness, the unity consciousness, the connection to the soul. So we begin thinking in processes that go beyond just what our physical is, maybe thinking more creatively, more artistically, more expressively, and then rising into something more than that, rising into states of consciousness that are just united with a presence of deep realization and connection through understanding and wisdom and intuition. And then just rising into that almost void space of infinite light, that Ein Sof Or, that presence of unending spiritual awareness and connection. And then you can just, like me, just sit and speak and talk about anything and it comes to life with the presence of the universe speaking through you you don't even have to try it just becomes it just is and you are with it you are present here now in this cosmic pool of connection and awareness and back to fascia now that fascia great things you can do just move roll the wrists roll the hands you know move the body, move the entire vehicle, and move that fascia. Because the more it becomes stagnant, the more it goes almost, your body's like going into rigor mortis without you moving it. It's like you're, without you moving, without you connecting to the actions of the body, you're slowly causing yourself to go down that path of, you know, leading towards a sooner passing on of this, which is not a bad thing because this physical vessel, it is only temporary. Our souls are eternal. But still, we want to make this vessel the most healthy, most vital temple we can, creating a temple, a peace, a place, a sanctuary for life to exist through you. You're worth it. Your soul is worth you taking the time to treat this body with great respect and reverence eating healthy, breathing consciously, actively living, and connecting to greater awareness and presence in your life. So I pray that you are blessed with this connection and this peace in your life, and that you can come to greater awareness and realization within your own experience. I pray you all have a blessed rest of your day, wishing all the most radiant light and shining brilliance in this world and the next. All the love shines through you. I'm so grateful for you. Namaste. Ooh.